Today's the 22nd of July, and we're more than halfway through our research cruise. Um, but we're trying something new on this cruise. This is our first day of drifter operations. We bought a uh, Argos drifter, which is this fancy device that we uh, throw overboard and follow with the ship. And it lets us follow patches of water. So our first uh, project is to follow a patch of plume water, plume water from the Columbia River plume. So this morning at 10 o'clock, at the uh, very beginning of the ebb tide, we went to the mouth of the Columbia and put this drifter in the water. And that was on this map here. Um, this is sort of the edge of the Columbia River entrance. This sort of tan area is the channel. And we released it right about there, right at the mouth of the estuary. And since then, we've stuck by that drifter, following it all day. Right now, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. And between uh, the time that we put it in the water and now, the drifters moved uh, about 11 kilometers. I'm sorry, 11 nautical miles, which is even farther. And you can see here's our ship icon right here. Now, prior to this release, the uh, modeling team back in Portland tried to predict where the drifter would go based on the tides and the currents and the winds and produced these uh, squiggly diagrams trying to estimate where the, trying to predict where the drifter would go if we were to le release it at 5.30, 5.45, 6 o'clock. Um, they actually all look fairly similar, but they all have a very characteristic movement um, where there's sort of a sinusoidal movement of the drifter away, straight away from the mouth, then it curls a little bit and then it goes south. So we look at the the path of the drifter, this is actually the path of the ship, and it seems to match this first part pretty well. It's kind of interesting. The point of this project is to see what happens to the chemistry and biology of this water as it ages, as the plume ages. Um, the, the Columbia River puts a certain amount of nutrients and um, new organic matter into the coastal ocean creating sort of a hot spot of biological activity. There's more algae growth, there's more bacterial production. All the biology starts to work a little bit faster. So we want to characterize that and see how long it lasts. 